Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fitness Podcast with Mzi. Mnagendi ngumzi anda wakomnyazi, kampumelelo, kakwebani, kakelo, kamishlaba. Puma le, la mishlaba sema kunu kwebeni, pansu kwe ngosu yinza. Ndi ngusangu, ngunyandeni, ngufakate, ngumkapisa, umakapisa ngento zake, nyandi mnyama ya kwa pata. Ya, imlo. Imlo. So, yeah. Good. Yeah, um, guys, today we are going to talk about uh, 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 actually, I will take you through the class. I'll take you through the class, a cardio box class where that i recorded and in fact that i'm going to record and then but i've already written everything that i want to do down that means from the warm-up i've written that i'm going to do this side arm reaches so many times and come back do this so many times until i get to the end of the class so that's the plan today so on this episode 18 of the podcast i'll just be doing that we're going through the class we are going to talk about it step by step until we get to the end where we are uh, doing the finale right so i wrote this down on on my phone which i charged overnight and came back it's still at 30 percent i don't know which means maybe it was not connected properly because now it's charging. So I'm going to be reading here. So my eyes are not going to be on the camera for most of the time. Please bear with me. And yes, I also fixed my I also fixed my sound card. Those who are members that watched the this episode, because I'm recording this for the second time, the members will know there is a part where we lose the sound. But luckily, the camera also records the sound, so I use the sound that comes from the camera. So, right, guys, let's go. Let's jump right in, Uyo, and start. That was a long intro, four minutes. Woo. Okay, so this is what's going to happen in the class warm up. Right, so we start. The first combination of the warm up is the following. A combination is just a series of movements. It doesn't have to be. Uh, e, e, one after the other at the same time uh, it's still a combination even if you do 10 then you do another one 10 times yes right what was that oh okay no uh, what low pc gaming no thanks i don't know why it's distracting us now that sound is going to be on the on the tape hey okay let's go through it now Okay, the first movement that you are going to do now for each of these movements, you are going to do a block. A block is 32 counts. If you don't know 32 counts, please go back to episode, I believe it's episode 4. You will understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a block or 32 counts. First movement lateral arm swings for, for a block. And then that means you are going to do that movement 16 times, 8 times right, 8 times left. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah. And then after that, we go for upright rows, upright rows. And then upright rows at the rotation, right? At the rotation, then side arm reaches, double side arm reaches. So you go with both hands, then you go overhead arm reaches, then both handed double hand double over arm reaches so now you go with both hands up there these are eight movements now these movements you are going to do them for 32 counts each that means the first eight blocks of the of the song you are going to do this movement then you come back now to the first movement which is lateral arm swings now you don't do it for the full block you do it for 16 counts right or I will do it for 16 counts, let me say that. And and then all of them, I do them for 16 counts now. 
So instead of eight blocks, now I've got four blocks doing the same movement. Same movement. Now that's 12 blocks into the class. I'm not going to count this until the end, guys. Then after that, we come back, we do eight counts for each of the movements. The same eight movements. Now that means what do we have? Now we've just added another two blocks. 14 blocks doing eight movements. Then you are done. Didn't add, yeah. I added ended it on eight. Usually, when you get to eight, you can repeat uh, the same sequence a couple of times. It's up to you as the instructor when you're teaching. You can repeat the sequence two or three times. It's up to you. You can even take it down to four counts on each of the movements. That way, you can stick and repeat it a couple of times until you are satisfied or until you reach what you want to reach. Remember, you are just warming people up. You are taking them in. You are starting your class. Then we move on to warm-up combo two. What are the movements? Cross punches, hooks, uppercuts, bob and weave. You've got four movements. Start, you do each of the movements for a block. It's four blocks. Then you go 16 counts the same movements instead of doing the whole block you do 16 counts now when you get to 16 counts you can repeat i'm going to repeat this sequence that means we'll do 16 counts each movement and repeat the sequence and then after that we move down to eight counts per movement and same movements now we repeat the sequence four times then we will go to four counts per movement and we repeat the sequence eight times. Now you'll notice the first one, you did it for four blocks. When you repeat the sequence, you still do it for four blocks because you still do the same thing, but now you do half of the number and then you repeat. That means you still have four blocks. Eight, blo eight counts, you repeat it four times. That means you still have four blocks. When, yes, that's the last one. So that's four blocks, four blocks, four, four blocks. I think now, now, now you are in the second song already. If you, if you add up all these things. Because usually a song can be between 18 and 22 blocks. A long song will have about 22 blocks. A short song will have 16, 18. Even some will have 14. Because you don't want your songs to be way too long. So I, most of the time when I do my music, I cut the intro and uh, because the first track already has an intro and then I jump to the to the next movement. Then go to warm up combination number three. What do you have? Alternating, alternating knee strikes. Then you've got two knee strikes repeaters, two knee repeaters following that. Then alternating single knee strikes with matches in between. So that's knee, match, match, match. Knee, I'm sure you've seen that movement. Then you've got alternating three knee repeaters with matches in between. One, two, three, match, match, match. One, two, three. So you do these. These are four movements again. You do for one block on each of the movements, starting with the alternating. Then you repeat the sequence two times. You do the sequence two times. Then you come back for each of the movements. Now you don't go for 32 counts. You go for 16 counts. Then you repeat the sequence four times. The warm-up is done, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to make it complicated. You you did your warm up you move on to the class main body now i believe that you you've done three songs i believe three songs three songs and this warm up i believe it can take you about three songs uh, anything between eight to ten minutes at most most of the time when i do my classes in my warm up i take between 13 to 15 minutes warming people up so this is not far from that. But anything eight minutes up is acceptable for a woman. 
right then now you get to the main body you are doing the first combo main body combo number one on the right this means now we are doing asymmetric uh, a type of movement that means we do one side and then we'll do the other side later uh, it's asymmetric so there's no symmetry we're focusing on one side on this part move one front stance if you don't know stances please go back to some of the episodes that we've already recorded we are talking about stances there uh, the front stance and the combat stance or call it the fighting stance horse stance uh, Horse stance, lunch stance. There are many other names they use these stances for. It only means you stand square or you stand with one foot in front. So this one, you stand square. Now the first movement is cross with the right. Okay, so this will be your right. Cross with the right, cross with the left, bob and weave two times. That's a movement, that's a combo. Right, you do it 16 times. 16 times. It gives you la, 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 four blocks. 16 times of this will give you four blocks. Cross, cross, bob, and weave. Cross, cross, bob, and weave. 16 times now people are working out. That's a workout already. The focus on the bob and weave, you correct. They should go all the way down, cut up, and they must bend their legs and go down when they're doing the bob and weave. You chew that as an instructor. I will be doing it. <laughs> You move to on the same combination. You've got a cross, right cross, and a left knee strike. So right cross, left, right cross, left. Just start for count move. Right? You repeat it 32 times. Make them do it 32 times, that movement. That gives you four blocks. Okay, and you will see now each of the movements that I'm doing, people do it for four blocks on the main body. They push for four blocks. At least you get a workout with four blocks. Sometimes when I want the class to be a bit exciting, I'll make them to do two blocks, and then when they get to the main movement, they I can let them do four blocks. But when I'm just focusing on training people, four blocks flat, no games. Right, then move three, you combine the one, two with the knee strike and the with the cross and the knee strike. So now you've got cross 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 knee one two three knee that's a combo you're combining combining move one and move two you would remove the bob and weave and you do that 16 times it's an eight count move you do it 16 times it gives you four blocks move four you know we've got to move four oh move four will be knee strike repeater so you are starting to punch with the right you will use the knees, the right knee strike. This helps people not to try to find the foot. As soon as they do that knee, the moment they step, they, what's following is this knee. So you are actually moving them there. You, you're not making it difficult for them to find where you are or where they should be. So you repeat that 64 times. That gives you, you guessed it, four blocks. Then you do the same thing on the left, come back with the left knee strike combo and you are done with combo one. You move to combo two. So, combo two main body on the right. What do we have? Now we've got a little bit of an exciting Nyana combo, you know. Right, fighting stance or lunge stance or combat stance. You've got one foot in front. So you starting with the right. You've got the right foot in front. You're going to start striking with the right hand. If you are going to start striking with a cross, then you are going to have your left in front. Okay, move one. Double jab, left rear uppercut. One, one, six. Yes, double jab, left rear uppercut. You repeat that 32 times. And that gives you, you guessed it, it gives you four blocks. Then you get to move two. Still on the fighting stand, still on the right foot in front. You've got a right hook, and then you've got a left cross, right jab, left uppercut. Ah, 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 ah. 
That's three, two, one, six. I was teaching this yesterday. So repeat it 16 times. 16 times. And that gives you four blocks. Move three. Same stance. Now you combine move one with a hook. One, two, three. Then you go back. Tap two times. After tapping two times, you come back and start again and you repeat that eight times and that gives you four blocks yes move four now with move four you replace the two taps with two knees so jab jab uppercut hook one two three go back knee knee jab jab uppercut hook one two three go back knee knee you repeat that move eight times and that gives you, you guessed it. Uh, <laughs> what is this? It gives you four blocks. Then, yes, you can end it there. Then you go to the other side. This one, for this one, I'm going to do jumping jacks because I did knee lifts to transition to the other side. Then I do jumping jacks. Then I get to the left and I do the same sequence that I did on the right, on the left side. When we are done with that, now we go to the last movement. This one we call the finale. You are building the last movement of the class and this is the movement your class is going to perform. So start by cross, 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 move to the side, cross, 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 move to the side. So now you're doing both sides. Okay, for how many car, for many, how many? For six, uh, for four blocks, yes, the whole sequence because it's sixteen counts. The move, then you are going to do it uh, eight times. <laughs> I'm going to do it eight times. I didn't write this part. Then after that, when you are done, you extend your movement. You add on your movement. So you've got cross, cross, cross. After the third cross, you count four, three, two. Why? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Yeah, four times you move. Three crosses, bob and weave. Four times you move. Now you've got a thirty-two count move because the right gives you the first sixteen, the left gives you the other sixteen. Thirty-two counts. Remember, block is thirty-two counts. If you repeat that four times, it gives you four blocks of the same thing. After the fourth block, you move on to the next movement. What is the next movement? One, two, three, two knees, then tap three times, then you punch on the other side. Now you remove the march in between. Because remember, the two knees, they change you to the other side. So now you don't have to march to the other side to change the leg. You'll understand it one day. One, two, three, knee, knee, three, two, one, one, two, three, knee, knee, three, two, one. Yes, yes, you do it four times, it gives you four blocks. You move on to the next move. One, two, three, knee, knee, da, 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 kick. One, two, three, knee, knee, ba, 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 kick. Now you've got your movement, your final movement. Then you and your people, you can perform that movement as many times as you want, you can work on the performance. This is something that's going to make the people to remember the class. This is something that you are. This is living inside their minds, the finale. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the class I'm going to record uh, over this weekend because guys, I'll be working, actually this weekend I'll be working on the, on my setup. I'm going to share that, I believe I'll be shooting so i'm going to share that uh, video of the setup so yes you perform that movement and when you are done you are done yeah when you are done you are done yeah so yes there's nothing else to do after that guys and you're going to stretch and and say thank you to everybody shake hands high fives hug whatever you do after your class and everybody is done on that note, I forgot to tell you at the beginning, please subscribe, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. 
it really helps us to find more people like you and it also motivates me to do more content because if you subscribe i do more content you get more entertained you learn more if you are learning from these videos right yes please subscribe like the video share it with other people mnake umziyanda wakomnyazi uyaphuma ngoku ndiyabulela thank you very much guys have a beautiful one love you peace